guys sandy here welcome back to another baby video today i'm going to show you guys what i have in my baby bag my baby hospital bag so that's what you guys are going to be seeing today is what i have in my baby diaper hospital bag for today yeah well, if you're interested in this video then just keep watching so this is my diaper bag i absolutely love this diaper bag i got it from Burlington and it's the Jeep the Jeep thing baby is a Jeep brand backpack and I just absolutely love this diaper bag slash backpack um, I'm gonna go into all the beats on this backpack later but I'm just gonna show you what's in the bag for baby for the hospital if you guys haven't checked out my hospital bag video then go check that out i am gonna leave down in the description box in that video the things that i had added to my hospital bag because i'm still kind of packing so in this front little zipper i have my snappies this is what they look like because we are cloth diapering I don't know if I told you guys that, but I am going to be cloth diapering and using a lot of um, cloth wipes, cloth diapers, and cloth breast pads. So that's what this is, our cloth breast pads. Charles's Aunt Sharna got these for me. So I just, and I've already washed all of this stuff, so if it's kind of like fraying away is because i've literally already washed it but they're just reusable bamboo cloth breast pads i'm also gonna get the breast pads that you can catch the milk in but i haven't found one that necessarily looked like it's gonna work so i haven't ordered it yet i ordered one and I tried it, but it was really small. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> it was really small. So this is just a wet sack for the breast pads. Just when I'm done with them, I just stick them right back into this little, little wet sack for them. So I packed a couple of those for me. And why are they in his bag? I really don't know. But they're in there. This is... A wet bag as well for cloth diapers because since it's gonna be since I'm gonna be using cloth diapers I need a place to put his wet soggy diapers and this is the Nora's nursery brand and Charles's aunt Shauna got these diapers she got us the Nora diapers and it's like seven of them and then they came with inserts so I'm using the wet bag for from the Norris diapers for the cloth diapers. So I have that in here. I also still need to boil his baby bottle and his binkies because I only have two binkies. So what I'm getting out of this pocket right here, his little white socks and i also have like some uh, little cute gloves for him so that's what i'm gonna be that's what's in this front little pocket and i know it's supposed to be like bottles or something like that but i'm gonna bring my i'm gonna bring my medela breast pump so that's already gonna have bottles in there pooch no sit down Sit down. Pooch. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Yeah. Stay. I'm almost done. So, I'm going to have breast bottles. I'm going to have baby bottles in my Medela backpack. Because I got the Medela backpack breast pump. So I'm going to show you guys my breast pump in a whole nother video and what's going to be packed in my breast pump bag, which is kind of pretty self-explanatory, but just so you guys can see. But in this side pocket here, I have nothing. 
it's where the bottles are supposed to go. <laughs> I am so crazy right now. I'm trying to keep the energy up, y'all. And in this side pocket right here, I just have... Da, 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 da. I don't know what this is called. It's like a wipe holder. It's a waterproof wipe holder. And I have cloth wipes in here. So this is what the little cloth wipes look like. So I just have them folded up in here like so and i'm gonna put um witch hazel and a little dr bronner soap for baby in here so you guys i am doing cloth wipes and cloth diapers um because i don't know i guess i can make a whole nother video on that later while i'm why i'm choosing to do cloth diapers and cloth wipes but in the bigger part of the bag, so in the bigger part of his bag, I have packed him one swaddle, swaddle me, and this just has footballs on it, but this is just um, a swaddle me. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to give us at the hospital. I do have a hospital tour in a week, so I'm going to see what they're actually going to provide for me and then whatever i don't like that they're going to provide then i'm just going to add it to my hospital bag or to his bag so i'm pretty sure they have swaddle blankets and stuff there but i just want to see what it looks like before i make my final decision and once again i'm packing for three like for three days so i'm not sure it might be longer we might be in there longer and we might not be in there that long but i just wanted to make sure that i had enough stuff um my husband is going to be there with me and he's going to be able to come back home we're going to take maggie to the hospital with us she's just going to be in the car when i'm in labor and then after i have the baby we're going to take her well, my husband's going to take her back home. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be in labor. Um, that's why we're just going to bring her with us. We don't have family up here. And even if we did, we don't trust anybody with Maggie. And we don't want to put her into PetSmart for boarding. Just a little info about her and what we're going to be doing with her because if you've been with me for a long time you know maggie is my first child and it's always going to be like that and maggie's going to be a great big sister so um yeah we she's going to be with us i'm packing for three days and after i get birth my husband will be able to go back home if i need more stuff or if he oh lord or if jelly bean like messes up too much stuff and i didn't pack enough stuff i'd rather pack just enough and not overly pack and then it's just like really heavy or a hassle or something like that so and then it's just easier for him to just come back home give me some clean stuff and yeah i'm not staying it's not a hotel so i'm not trying to have like a whole bunch of stuff there so i just have packed um three long sleeve and long pants onesies for him these are the carter brands the carter um long sleeve onesie and then this is going to be his going away out going home outfit so it's really warm i know it looks like bedtime but it'll be really warm for him and we're just going to be coming home so I'm not really concerned about it being like a pajama nighttime looking situation. I just want them to be warm. So I also got three short um, onesies. Like regular traditional onesies. And these are also Carter's. And these are newborns. So yeah, these are newborns. And just in case he doesn't really fit the newborns really well. I think these are oh my god these are all newborn so i'm gonna need to grab him some zero to three month outfits to put in here see double checking already like just double checking 
This is a... Hey, it's made by Ellen DeGeneres. I like Ellen. <laughs> I didn't realize that. But this is a swaddle blanket as well. It's a swaddle, but you can use it as a blanket, as a birthing cloth, burping cloth, or as a cover for breastfeeding. So I just have another style of swaddle in here for him and then the next thing you guys if you look in there whoo, those are flat cloth diapers so i have them in there that way because at the very bottom are more flat cloth diapers so i got i got i brought with me 12 no 24 of these flat cloth diapers and I'll open one of them up so you can see what it looks like so it's just literally thicker in the middle and it is not so thick on the two sides and I just have it folded this way to make room in his diaper bag because I'm not sure like I said how long we're going to be in there and I don't want to run out of cloth diapers for him because I don't want to put any um what do you call it i don't want to put any regular diapers on him like at all so i just got 24 diapers and i'm tr trying to count like if he goes through six or eight of them in one day hopefully that will be enough but i also have the cloth diaper covers for him and i also have a cloth diaper inside that's already pre-folded to fit his little newborn but this this is like a newborn claw diaper um and like i said i can go into that in more detail but i got eight of these packed and they all have like little different cute designs on there i'm not sure if i'm going to show you guys all of them but they have like different animals different animal prints so that's what's in the bottom of his diaper bag and the reason why the diaper bag seem so bulky and so full is because the cloth diapers take up a lot of room um once we get him home and we like get in the routine of things and i really like actually start knowing how many cloth diapers he's going to be going through i'm not going to have like 24 diapers on hand when i'm like carrying around his diaper bag is only for the hospital so it's not going to be like this whole thing is literally just filled up with cloth diapers and cloth diapers do take up a lot more room but i'd rather use cloth diapers than regular diapers and that's pretty much what's in his diaper bag for the hospital as of right now. Um, after I do my hospital visit, she's getting impatient with me. <laughs> after I do my hospital visit, I'm going to see if I need to pack more stuff or if I packed enough stuff. And especially with my hospital bag, I'm going to see if I need to pack more stuff or less stuff. Um, and then I will just let you guys know in another video, like what else I needed to add to my hospital bag video. And also for my hospital bag, I did want the pins, like the ones that fit more like underwear, like, yeah, like underwear, like regular pennies, but I want to see what they're going to provide and then if I, like I said, if I don't like the way that it looks or if I'm not comfortable with something, then I'm just going to purchase my own. And then I tell you guys what I decided that I purchased because I didn't like what the hospital had or what it looked at like. So that is what's in Jelly Beans hospital bag. And please go check out what's in my hospital bag. I'm a really simple person, you guys. So I don't have like a whole bunch of foo-foo crap and makeup and a whole bunch of just unnecessary mess. Which I am going to bring some chapstick. But, um, where's my Vaseline? I still use my Vaseline. 
so I am not gonna go buy another one I'm just gonna pop this into either his bag or my bag but I am gonna bring Vaseline for my lips but other than that guys I'm a really simple person and I'm just not I mean I look like this all, every day you know this is how I look and I'm not gonna be packing like makeup wipes and face wash stuff because I don't wash my face with soap every day and I'm not gonna be just overly packing hygiene things that I don't necessarily need to bring to the hospital I am gonna grab one of my own pillows and probably a blanket and that's it so that my husband is comfortable while he's there with me but other than that you guys I'm not bringing like a whole bunch of stuff and my husband will be able to come back home if I need anything else or if I want anything he'll be able to go get it for me and come back to the hospital that is what's in jelly beans bag once again and I really hope you guys like this simple just really simple and sweet hospital bag video and thank you guys so much for watching if you have any more comments or questions or if I left anything out please leave it down below so thank you guys so much for watching bye